tense moments at the Republican convention in Chicago when General Eisenhower still needed nine votes to win the nomination battle. Angry arguments had marked the long session. Hi, Listen, we're going to have a caucus in 40... Then the vital turning point when the Minnesota delegation changed their votes. Chairman, Gentlemen, Minnesota Mr. wishes to change its vote to Eisenhower. The close fight then became a landslide. The general had triumphed. It is with pride that I place before this convention for President of the United States the name of Dwight David Eisenhower. On hearing the result, General Eisenhower called on Senator Taft, his defeated rival, to unite the party. He then formally accepted his nomination. I know something of the solemn responsibility of leading a crusade. I have led one. I I accept your summons. I will lead this crusade. And renewed cheers gave the general a good send off along the road to the White House, but there's still a long way to go.